For this lesson, we're going to talk about what ledges are and how exactly you can use them to make it a uh, more dynamic area inside of your level. And specifically, we're going to cover the most basic forms of ledges that we can use. So what we want to do is actually come into here and draw a box outside of this. So if we go to Designer and we click on it, we can just take a Designer box, having the Snap to Geometry on, and we're just going to snap this Designer box right there. I'm going to click Edit, and then we're going to dock right over here on top of the properties. And what we want to do is fold this out, and we're going to choose Polygon, and we're going to select this and kind of drag it outward, because what we're into is just getting this to where we can have it as a basic ledge that we can interact with. I'm going to turn off the Snap to Geometry, and then I'm going to pull this up a little bit. So I know that both of these boxes are actually 2 meters, so I'm going to leave this at 2 meters, and for the first part, we're going to drag this out, and it's going to work as a simple wall. So I'm going to switch back to the object, and let me actually change the pivot to right there, and we're going to move this forward, just so it's easier to control. Let's go back to Properties, and we're going to click off of this. Now we're ready to go back to the Create Object tab, and we're going to go to Game Custom, and we can already see that we have Ledge and Ledge Static. Well, what I want to do is concentrate on ledge static in this because then we can see exactly the most basic forms to customize this. I need to make sure that I also have Snap to Geometry back on. And what I'm going to do is turn on, we'll do Snap to Vertex because we're actually going to snap to those. So I'm going to grab the ledge static and I'm going to snap to right there. And I'm going to double click to end. So now that we've actually got this drawn, we can try and interact with this ledge. So it's right on the edge, and I should be able to interact with it. Let me go ahead and select this and move it down just a little bit. I'm going to turn off the snap to geometry. Let's get it where it's flush. We know it's flush and exactly where we want it. So we should be able to grab that and jump up on the ledge. I'm going to press this controller icon and snap in. And the idea here, if I press F1, is I would be able to just move up and then jump. But obviously it's not interacting properly. And there's a reason behind this. So if I jump out, I can see that this red arrow is actually interacting inward. And this is a visual cue to allow you to know how exactly am I supposed to interact with this ledge? Well, it's flipped. It's inverse, and that's why we can't use it. So what we're going to do is actually flip this ourselves. So now that it's outside, let's see if we can actually go in and use it. So once again, I'm going to do F1. And then if I jump up, you'll see that it's completely usable as a ledge. So that's what I wanted to do. The next basic form that we're going to cover in here is actually how to do a double-sided one. So let's go ahead and choose this. We go to Edit again, and we're going to choose Polygon. And what we want to do is slim this down. So let's think this is like a brick wall, or maybe it's a chain-link fence, a wooden fence, some kind of fence. And that's how we're going to interact with it. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out just a little bit. So now our ledge is interacting with the middle. And what we're ready to do is interact with both sides. So like we saw before, we are able to interact on this side, but not on the other side. So if we go and choose the ledge static, we go back to properties, we want to toggle on ledge double side. So if I do that, now we have it on both sides, and we should be able to interact. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to press F1. And we're going to interact on this side. And now I'm on that side, and let's go in here and jump again, and we can see that we can interact on both of them. So with this, we're able to have a different type of interaction. So this has just been a basic video on how to use a ledge, and maybe how to 
interact or with the visual cue interact and have it either on a single side or a double side. And you can have other ways in which to use a ledge. And the other ledge, you're able to do it and move it dynamically. And you're able to get quite diverse types of interaction in that case. Because this one's just static. So look at the extra videos on ledges and how you can interact with them. And even some of the game mechanics tutorials where we combine these different elements to be able to give you a more usable scene to challenge your player and maybe even the AI itself.